so the ending to Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania was actually changed. So there will be spoilers for the movie. So if you haven't seen it, there's your warning. Boom. That's all I got to say. Uh, but apparently it's coming from the direct saying that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania's ending got reshot last month. Here's what changed. Now to prove that there were reshoots, there's actually a picture that resurfaced like two months ago. And I remember when this came out, I didn't make a video on it because I didn't really see there for need because movies will do some reshoots. Usually it'll be like a, a tiny little scene or like one extra shot or something like that. And sometimes you'll even be able to tell in the movie. Sometimes you'll see like an actor's hair looks a little long. The thing in Multiverse of Madness, there's even like you can actually see a scene where Wong's hair is long. And then the next scene, it's back to being its normal length. Um, but they're tiny additions. Usually in a reshoot, they will try to perfect it. But yeah, the, you know, when this came out uh, two months, I, I was kind of like, yeah, this is a norm. So we'll kind of read it. So. I'm, again, I'm just going to assume you guys know what happened in the ending. Of course, we know Kang uh, died. He didn't really die. He got sent to this t much tinier universe. Where he got sent somewhere else with multiple Kangs now. I'm just kidding. Uh, but I definitely don't think he's dead. I think that's just part of his revenge arc. And, of course, we got to see Scott and Hope. They both escaped. They both made it back to San Francisco with with um, with Janet, uh, Hank, and Cassie. And yeah, that was the end. Then the post credit scene, they they said that apparently the Kangs are saying that that Kang, exiled Kang is dead. I don't believe it just because there's always a rule in filmmaking that says, hey, if you don't see a character die, that means that character didn't die. There's just so many examples. It's like the classic directors kind of trying to mislead you, you know, and we didn't really see Kang die, so... Uh, that's just how I see. But anyways, in early January 2023, Ant-Man... By the way, I'm just going to say Ant-Man Quantumania, okay? Because it's, it's a very long title. Underwent reshoots resulting in a different MCU ending than, and then, than what was originally shot. At the time, fans didn't know which part of the film Marvel Studios was reshooting or the extent. And of course, here here is the picture. This is from the ending. This is actually literally the ending scene. So I do believe this scoop highly because of this ending, Right? Uh, but now that three cool is in theaters, it's clear that Marvel Studios reshot the three cool's book ended conclusion a mere month away from the film's premiere and its theatrical debut. So how was Quantum Media supposed to end and how is it different than what's playing in theaters? Um, and it says in October 2022, a full summary of Ammon and the Wasp Quantum Media's plot surfaced online. With the film now in theaters, the details shared have proven to be accurate with the exception of the three cool's conclusion, which fans now know was refilmed in early January. The following is a breakdown of what Marvel Studios changed during Quantumania's midnight hour reshoots. And of course, there will be spoilers. All right. Um, instead of Kang the Conqueror's confusing fate where he seemingly shrunk down into a multiversal engine core, Kang was supposed to survive. According to the plot leak, Kang stops Scott from escaping to his universe along with the rest of his family and beats him to a pulp, just as he does in the final film. Um, and then it says, but when Hope returns to save Scott, they almost trap Kang in the quantum realm. However, he manages to escape, trapping the two there instead. All right. Just like in the final cut, Hank, Janet, and Cassie escape back to San Francisco. But since Scott and Hope are trapped, Hank guarantees his wife and granddaughter that they will find him. This, of course, is drastically different from Hank and Janet attending Cassie's unbirthday party and eating bad birthday cake from Baskin Robbins. Um, and of course it's called Trust and Cassie back in the quantum realm. Hope and Scott look out over the uh, subatomic landscape as Hope tells Scott that their family, um, will be okay and that they have to trust him to find them both. She also says that Cassie will know what to do. Cassie's computers. Sometimes later or sometime later, Cassie is shown running all kinds of programs on different computers. As she stares at the screen, she sees something causing her eyes to go wide and she gasps. Then in true WandaVision fashion, the scene cuts to black. Um, now, I feel like what she was going to be looking at, it was going to show kind of what you saw in Loki, and you also saw a glimpse of it in Quantumania. You saw that the main timeline is a is a circle. It's a it's a cycle that just kind of goes around, goes around. And what I thought, what I feel like she was going to see, was she was going to see there's you can see now little branches that are now kind of cutting. Right. You see him kind of ending, kind of indicating that Kang is destroying, conquering universes. And I, I genuinely think that's what it's going to be. Because this movie was heavily trying to tease Kang. I really don't see why they even went 
with the look i like quantum i think quantum is a decent movie i thought it was solid and a thumbs up thumbs down world i give it a thumbs up i like the movie um but i gotta say i'm reading this ending and this is exactly what i predicted i said and go look at my second trailer prediction i said in the prediction that scott will not die i think scott will get trapped in the quantum realm stopping uh, trying to stop kang right now the rest i got wrong for, or, or well in in this version at least in this version kang escapes which to me which made more sense i don't get why we have to have so many kings and we don't have one focus on a king to me it just makes more sense to keep this king which i still think they're gonna do right i just think that this king escaping would have been such a better plot line i don't know we'll have to wait till king dynasty to see whether or not the story works well and i do hope that this is the main king and we get i do think that if you really want us to love a king keep this king make him more powerful make him stronger so that when we see the next time we're adjusted to him we're used to him we're accustomed to this king and i really hope that this king becomes the big bad of the mcu and i would love for like the ending of king dynasty being this king killing all the other kings like you see this all-out war the cgi fuck fest of king murdering his own kings you know um that coliseum you saw in the post credit scene just dead wiped out because of this king and i think that would be much better having this king be the focus you know um why marvel saved ant-man from the quantum realm marvel studios has a reputation for tweaking and retooling films up until the last minute however completely overhauling a film's ending weeks before its premiere is just shocking it's even more so given that many of the last minute changes are actually some of the audience's biggest complaints uh, not only did fans not like the also I do think this ending would have been better just because it would have shown you consequences one of the problems with this film is there's no character development no consequences no nothing it, it, it kind of feels just like filler if uh, like I said in my in my review it feels like a prelude that went way too long right okay not only did fans not like the idea of King losing to Ant-Man but they also didn't like how Cassie also conveniently reopened the portal along um, Scott exactly that's what I kept thinking. Okay. Allowing Scott and Hope to return. In fact, many felt that someone in the Ant-Man family should die or remain trapped in the quantum realm, which is exactly what the writers initially penned. The original ending was also better for Cassie's character as it laid the groundwork for her own upcoming hero story. That is facts. Facts. I would have loved it by the time we got to King Dynasty. You saw Cassie more motivated. She was like, I've dealt with a King variant. And I've d and, and she and he trapped my my dad and 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 hope in the quantum realm we gotta save him and then the movie starts off with them saving sky and hang uh, uh not hang hope and you have like a scene where like the rebellion everyone in the quantum realm loves scott kind of a a, a reopen of the of quantum mania where you have the same scene play out except this time in the quantum realm where everyone's kind of worship or not worshiping per se but seeing him as a hero as an idol something like that but anyways um and also uh i think i'm fine with ant-man not dying i think ant-man could be saved for later maybe kill him off and king die actually i think that would be more emotional if you have this king that we had in this movie come up and then finally kill king i feel like it'd be almost a payoff to the film itself you know um and uh already read, oh in fact many felt someone in oh yeah we read that uh so the obvious question here is why why did Marvel Studios give Kang a different fate? And why didn't the studio want Scott and Hope trapped in the quantum realm? One of the possibilities is to avoid repetition. Am and the Wasp post credit scenes ended with Scott Lang trapped in the quantum realm only for him to make a triumphant return in the future Avengers film to save the day. Sound familiar? Marvel Studios may have realized the similarity to the original idea for Quantumania's ending and decided a change was for the best. I mean, it doesn't sound like a bad, uh, bad repetition right i mean you're already repeating certain things you have one main big bad you have king as the big bad in the previous it was event it, it was thanos and then now you're, you're going to kind of repeat with the avengers have these random groups of heroes assemble that's what happened with the avengers it's like marvel is maybe you should focus on not putting jokes in awkward scenes like come on that's that should be the focus of repetition you know uh but anyways uh let's see uh, there are, of course, other potential reasons was to reverse the result of a change to the greater MCU multiverse saga story. Hopefully future films or Loki season two will be able to answer that question. But for now, it seems that just like Scott and King, Ant-Man 3 really needed more time. And when the Lost Quantumania playing in theaters 
worldwide. And yeah, I mean, the ending sounded much better. I do really wonder what exactly, why was the change? Like, why did it happen? All right. Uh, I, realistically, we're not going to know until maybe later in the future. That's the reality. Uh, maybe they changed something in the story. Maybe they're like, hey, we don't want this king to be the focus. We can focus him on another. I think there's one possibility. And this is only a possible. This is not a scoop. This is not reliable. This is just me making a prediction. I think there's a chance that this movie was going to be a deciding factor on the future of Kang and Marvel knew if this movie like let's say Kang was not liked in the movie let's say Jonathan Majors was not loved as he is now they could quickly be like okay this Kang is dead because right now they have this loophole where they can say he's dead or he's alive because they left it in that area you could say he's dead because the other Kang say he's dead you could say he's alive because you didn't see him die I think they gave themselves kind of an open way to either bring back this king or just keep him dead. And I think Marvel in a way maybe gave himself a little room so that if King was not liked in this movie, let's say all the reviews were saying King's horrible, all the critics, all the fans, everyone was saying that they didn't like this king, they gave themselves that room where they're like, okay, they didn't like it, boom, we keep this one dead, we'll focus on another king, which concerns me because Kang Dynasty is out for 2025, and it really concerns me if that is the case. Again, it's a big if. This is just a prediction. This is a theory, right? Um, and again, don't take it to the bank. Do not say, oh, Isaac said this, so I believe it. No, just kind of take that with prediction. That That is a worry if that is the case, because that kind of means that maybe the writers aren't safe or secured with their plans or whatever. I don't know. There's that chance, um, but now because people did love this Kang, they do give themselves a position where they can say, okay, you know, they, they love it. I don't know, though. I don't believe that because even if that's the case, why didn't Kevin do that before? Like, why did he have to do all these reshoots? Like, what was the idea? And I'm going to say the the realistic, the, the most realistic thinking I can think of right now is it's highly, highly possible. So usually reshoots will happen. The reason why Marvel has planned reshoots all the time, DC2, anything, is usually when they're in the editing room and they're putting the film. Usually when you're editing something, it looks different than when you're filming it. I can even attest to that in my video. Sometimes I'll make a video and while I'm talking, I feel like this is a good video. But when I'm in the editing process, I'll say, oh no, this isn't a good video. Maybe this didn't work. Maybe that didn't work. You know, something like that. Or the the vice versa can happen. Maybe I didn't think it was a good video, but then looking at the editing, it actually was a good video. Usually, that's what happens to me while editing. And that is usually the case in Marvel Studios. Usually the case is they'll give themselves that reshoot ability so that if, if they, they don't like a certain scene or if they think this would fit better if they did it this way, Marvel will always schedule in advance. They tell other actors, they tell other filmmakers, and then they'll do the reshoot. And it's possible that when they were editing this film, they went with, they saw the original ending. They saw a cut of the original ending. They were like, maybe this isn't as good because part of the Ant-Man niche is that they're very calm, happy, going movies. You know, the first two, which if that's the case, then why don't you just do that instead of doing this whole quantum realm thing? But there, my my the the most realistic thing I can think of is realistically they saw it. They were like. You know, this ending doesn't fit. The editing in this didn't fit. The, this cut isn't... I don't think people are going to like it as much. So they went with another route where they're like, Hey, how about instead we maybe kill off King and, and have uh, Scott and Hope. And now that I'm thinking about it, I do think that... Th th okay, I'm, I'm right now just going on, uh, off the rails, but I genuinely think that the highest, highest, highest chance is they want to save Scott. They want to keep Scott around so that when King Dynasty starts up, maybe they want to have a scene where Scott goes to Strange or tells him, hey, I've dealt with they can't instead of maybe having the scene or have the movie be them saving Scott from the quantum realm, then Scott talks to them about Kang, I think the, the realistic thing that happened was that they wanted Scott and some scene in Kang Dynasty to be like, I've dealt with the Kang, 
And or maybe they want Scott to head because the ending really heavily implies that Scott is nervous. He's scared because he thinks that he genuinely broke the multiverse or broke some sort of he broke out King some way, saying that there's more Kings and all that, and there's gonna be incursions, there's gonna be multiversal war, bah. And I genuinely think that is a high possibility. I think the highest possibility is that they wanted to have Scott and Kang Dynasty. Now I know you're thinking, what about Hank? What about Hope? What about Cassie? What about all these other characters? Well, to be honest, I think they just... If you notice in the Avengers movies, you'll rarely ever see the side characters. Ned was barely in Infinity War and Endgame, and he's loved in the Spider-Man films. I love Ned. Ned is a lovable character, but you barely saw him in the Avengers films that he was in. He, he had a quick scene in Endgame. He didn't even talk. It was a cool handshake. Then he had a quick scene in Infinity War where he's... <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna die i love ned I, I don't get how people hate ned but um that's usually what you see and i guess they don't want to have a side character so they were like now nah, let's have scott tell strange that makes more sense it also fits better for trailers no one's gonna be like oh my god hank pym yay oh my god it's cassie no no you're, they're gonna be more happy if it's paul rudd scott lang right maybe you won't get the big pop but you will have to some extent some more excitement than you would if you had any of the other side characters if that makes sense but anyways those are my thoughts sorry if i went off the rails i'm just thinking about all this ultimately i think the original ending seemed better and by original i mean the one that seems like the director's trying to tell us about i don't know it part of my one of my issues in the film is it felt like there was no repercussions no consequences it felt the movie literally felt like they were trying to go with this route of Scott learning to be humble, learning to uh, be better. And instead, the movie doesn't give you any of that lesson. It's just Scott gets beat up for a bit, but ultimately he gets to be happy for at least a time from now till Kang Dynasty. Um, I don't know. I've already made an entire video saying that the MC has lost its magic to me. While I still love the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I just don't think it's I, I just don't feel the same way as I did a couple years ago uh with the marvel cinematic universe but anyways those are my thoughts you guys let us know in the comment section down below what do you think about this do you agree disagree whatever it is let us know in the comment section down below see y'all in the next one ciao you go to where do you go where do you go to i wanna know how do you do it that thing you do